your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. We're going to start with the big picture this morning. Kind of easy to see what's going on. There's cold air off to the north. There's snow across parts of the Great Lakes. There's snow out to the northwest. There's uh, obvious, uh, obviously moisture coming in off of the Pacific here, and that trail of moisture leads all the way across the country. Closer to home, we do have this frontal boundary that's kind of now moving south through the area. And as we've seen that taking place, we are seeing just a few radar returns out there. Again, sprinkles at best, kind of like yesterday morning where we saw a few of that, uh, few of the areas in the Wabash Valley picking up some precip. I think this morning it's kind of the same thing, just a couple different areas out there. We see just a few little returns into eastern sections of Park, Putnam, uh, southern Montgomery, extreme southern Montgomery County. Again, you all may be seeing just a few sprinkles out there. It's nothing significant, but I at least wanted to mention that. Now, yesterday, as you recall, there were clouds down to the south and uh, um, it was clearer to the north. Now there's clouds to the north, and so temperature changes are warmer there this morning, just a little cooler down to the southeast. But everybody's pretty much in the 40s right now. Low 40s off to the north here, a few mid 40s down to the south. Temperatures will probably drop a few degrees before sunrise. We'll end up getting a few upper 30s as expected out there just before sunrise this morning. The winds have shifted, so that's a sign that that boundary is now south of the area. So we are seeing some winds coming in out of the northwest this morning at 10 to 15. That does add just a little bit of a chill to any temperature as the day begins. Now, as we go into the afternoon hours today, it's going to be cooler than yesterday. Yesterday, we were upper 50s to around 60. Today, we're looking at more like upper 40s for a heart of the area, though we are seeing a few low 50s to the south. Overnight tonight, we don't cool a whole lot, but this is by 10 o'clock tonight. We're seeing some upper 30s and some 40s out there. Watch what happens, though, overnight and toward morning. Temperatures are actually going to warm. So tomorrow morning at this time, we're going to be well above average for the morning hours. We're looking at mid 40s to upper 50s out there to start our day tomorrow. During the day tomorrow, we're going to approach 70 degrees in some areas. The record is 71. I think a lot of folks are going to see mid to upper 60s tomorrow. And then as we get into Thursday morning, no blast of cold air yet. We are going to stay mild for our Thursday as well. That boundary is just going to be hanging around this area. And so here we see that warmer push of air Wednesday into Thursday. But then by Friday now, we're starting to see things get just a little bit colder. The coldest of air stays away from us. So we're going to cool things back to more seasonable levels, if not slightly above by the end of the week, and then rise once again into the weekend and start of next week. Never really seen any significant blast of cold and staying above normal like we have for much of the month of February as we wrap up the month. Today's temperatures, again, around upper 40s to low 50s out there. We are going to get decreasing cloudiness. Tonight, the clouds return, and so do rain chances. Maybe even a few thunderstorms in the overnight. 41's kind of tricky because that's going to be probably between 10 and 11, and then we'll warm as we get into the morning hours. Tomorrow's highs, upper 60s to near 70. Sunny and windy on on Thursday, then turning cooler to wrap up the week. Dry right now for the weekend and temperatures back to above normal. All right, thank you so much.